Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Uh, it's good that we could be um, looking into the Word of God together today. And uh, today we are actually uh, responding to the cry, uh, Help, I am tired. Uh, are you tired today? Physically, you might be fit and strong, but uh, you feel so weary on the inside. And that influences your physical strength at, as well. So emotionally, if you're feeling tired and weary, that tends to influence us physically, that tends to influence us spiritually. And maybe you're crying out, help, I'm tired. So let's look into God's word together. There could be reasons why you might be, or why we might be feeling weary and tired, although physically we are fine. Um, this is what we read in Galatians chapter 6, verses 7 through 9. It says, do not be deceived, God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to his flesh will of this flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. And let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. So when we sow to the flesh, we will of the flesh reap corruption. So that could be one reason. Maybe we are doing things, saying things, harboring certain things in our heart and it is an act of sowing to the flesh. It is an act of sowing to our fleshly appetite. Secondly, you know, uh, Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4, the Lord Jesus says, um, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So the word of God the rhema word of God is important, is necessary for us as born again, new creation, spiritual believers to live. If we do not have access to the word of God, if we are not receiving this rhema word of God, then it is very, very difficult for us to continue. We might exist, but we are not actually living. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every rhema word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So uh, that could be another reason. Thirdly, if we are indulging in intentional sin, the uh, scripture says, Proverbs 6 verse 32, whoever commits adultery with a woman lacks understanding. He who does so destroys his own soul. So there is a destruction to our emotions, to our imaginations. Um, there is um, damage that is happening in our minds, to our thoughts, our reasoning, and we feel weary. We might be doing other things to prop up our emotions, but um, we are feeling weary and we are completely broken down and because of sins of this nature. So we need to check ourselves. We could be weary because we, we could be having envy, strife and carnality. That's the fourth thing. And um, when we don't have any time in the presence of God, then again, our strength is not renewed. Therefore, we might be feeling and crying out, I am tired, hell. But the good news is that we can reclaim our strength, that our strength can be renewed. And this is what we see in uh, Ephesians chapter 6 and verses 10 to 11. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the armor of God the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. So scripture exhorts us to put on the armor of God and be strong in the miracle working, supernatural strength and might of the Lord. So when we put on the armor of God, the helmet of salvation and, and we walk in it intentionally, we uh, reclaim our strength. And also uh, Isaiah chapter 4 and verse 31, and we are all very familiar with that. It says, those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. And that this renewal of strength comes as a result of actively waiting on the Lord. And the Lord renews our strength to walk and run and so. So today, if you're listening to this, it's time to reclaim our strength or renew our strength and walk and be strong in the Lord. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that, uh, Lord, we don't have to continue to walk in weariness and fatigue, God. Lord, we thank you that um, your very presence renews our strength. Lord, we thank you that your word, O oh God, renews us, O oh God, and produces faith in us, Lord. 
And so God, uh, today we pray and we ask, oh God, that we will receive your word, that we will spend time in your presence, God, and that we will keep away from anything that, everything that draw, that, that uh, completely drains us of spiritual strength. Um, and Lord, give us the wisdom to do that and protect us even as we intentionally take a step back to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.